country, China. Put your hands together for Social Agent, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. While we're down in Singapore, our team back in Hong Kong and Shenzhen is celebrating Ching Ming Festival or Tomb Sweeping Festival. So, uh, just a uh, shout out for everybody back home watching online. Social Agent. We are a social media sales tool to help businesses sell in the Chinese market. Social Agent is a social media sales tool to help businesses find, track, and manage sales leads, starting with the Sina Weibo user base of 400 million users. I've been in China for five, almost six years. Everybody knows China's big. Everybody thinks if I just got one rupee from everybody in China, I'd be rich. But it's not that easy. You guys here, for the past two days in our trade booth upstairs, we've noticed you guys are still not doing business in China and you want to. And maybe you're going there, you're meeting people in trade fairs, you're getting name cards, you don't know who is who. So we give you a simple online solution to help you find and manage these in a multi-user environment. Let's take a look. Sign up. You enter your username and password and your company information and your credit card information. Once the account has been created, you can begin creating keywords. You want to create keywords that are descriptive enough for a system to discover those leads for you. So in this case, we're looking for startups in Asia. Once uh, that criteria is entered, our system will begin discovering those leads and entering it into your, your client account. From there, you can begin managing those leads. What you can do is assign them to potential sales staff, or you can organize them. Of course, the most important part is to communicate with uh, those leads, where you want to make a message that can eventually lead to a follow-up for sales. In this case, you want to meet up for coffee with Casey. From there, you want to leave a note so you can keep track of what you've been doing, uh, and then to hopefully uh, follow up with that lead. And you want to update the status. And when Casey eventually communicates back with us, we can close the potential sale. Okay, so, so how does the market look? We're, we're currently targeting businesses that are Western, US, European, Singapore companies, and China. There's 435,000 businesses that are currently registered in China that are foreign. And there's also a secondary market of companies that are not at all in the Chinese market that are trying to get in. And how are we making money? We're an online sales tool at $99 a month with different pricing levels starting from the number of users, the number of leads, the number of reports run, and also white label reporting for agency users. So let's take a look at what some of our pen customers are actually saying. Uh, as Mike mentioned, we have two target customers, the businessman in China already selling on the ground, and the businessman outside China wanting to enter the market. Uh, so let's take a look at the former. This is an Israeli businessman who runs an online grocer in Shenzhen. So he's using Social Agent to find leads who are interested in imported food products. And outside China, uh, we have a very happy customer who is a company from Mexico who is importing seafood into China. And currently what he's having to do is go through distributors who take a percentage. But by using a social agent, he's able to find customers directly himself, cutting out the distributors. So we also have an amazing group of advisors who really believe in us. We have Jillian Music, who was one of the founders of SEO Mods, a popular online marketing tool. And we also have Steve Forte, He's a serial entrepreneur. His previous company, Zagit.com, was sold to Google. And we also just recently graduated uh, the last class of China Accelerator. It's a tech accelerator in China. And the core of our team is the three of us. Uh, to sum us up, we have Mike, who's the hustler. We have Chris, who's a developer. And then myself, I'm the marketer. 
And we have a growing team. Uh, we also have one additional programmer and a part-time designer. So what's the future of Social Agent? Again, we, we've, we're, we're running Lean, and we, we, we totally listen to our users, people like you, we've been listening to the trade show uh, booth upstairs. So right now we're just China, you know, it's a little bit maybe small for some of you, but I think there's a lot of users and customers in China. After uh, we've seen a Weibo first, as a startup we're starting on one platform first, validating our customers, generating revenue, and then we're going to go cross-platform, staying in China, leveraging our South China headquartered uh, Weibo, uh, Tencent, which is in Shenzhen, for a Weixi integration, and then we're going to test international markets such as Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and, and more. So thank you for your time. Uh, we have QR codes if the WeChat users can scan my shirt or the Facebook users can scan this QR code on the screen. And uh, we will add you to our leads and follow up with you after the show. Thank you. trying to find customers. We are, uh, we are a result of lead startup. We totally listen to our users, and our users, we started in analytics. We heard a lot of analytics the last two days. We are a lead generation, so we find customers in social media by both status search and user profile search um, in Chinese market. Hey guys, um, we know each other, we met yesterday. Um, just to give you some background, I'm also in a similar space, so when we've developed uh, you know, products similar, so I'm, I won't get into the licensing issues and the, the government issues around creating our own business around this, but my, my only concern with this is, it seems to me, the, the, the behavioural usage of Cena Weibo is a social media tool between peer-to-peer -peer brands, and, and, to, and then sometimes to follow brands, brands that you like, so it seems to me it would be better position as a fan generation tool as, a, as opposed to a lead generation tool. And, and like, so for instance, we've used it to support the growth of football clubs and things like that, that, that are generating fans with a soft sell approach. But it, it, it's, it's difficult for me to get that if I'm just using a social network, and that is my role in the social network, that I would be, that I would welcome, um, you know, new approaches from companies just looking to sell. And, and how do you, how do you tackle that? Have you got any stats around Success on this? Yeah, uh, we we forgot to mention we're live uh, since Chinese New Year, February. We have 10 million customers, and we complement the sales department. We're not targeting the marketing department. So you can still use Hootsuite, you can still use all these other more marketing listening tools. We are a sales only tool. So we, we see the current sales department. We've talked to salesmen in the booths upstairs. They're still calling, they're still emailing. We believe that's going to move more and more onto social media. So we are specifically not a marketing tool, we are a sales tool that complements a marketing and sales campaign. And in terms of, say, like the, I mean, there's API restrictions, right, as to how many calls you can make. What are you, how are you doing to, to address that or get around that? And then is there a threat about Cena potentially just doing their own platform to offer this? So, uh, one of, the, one of the best being in China Accelerator was uh, spent some time up in North China and uh, we were in Beijing a lot and I developed some relationships. Um, while our tool was being built, we, we profiled all the Sina Weibo uh, workers and I have a list of about 50 Sina Weibo users in my own lead list. So I, I built my own Guanxi and Sina Weibo and they, uh, 
they support uh, what we're doing and they support us helping foreigners come into China. And I know they have overseas companies or offices, but they uh, they welcome. We're playing the angle of helping foreigners in China, and they, they, they seem to support us. And as far as the API requests, um, we we haven't hit limits yet, and we're not trying to do mass marketing. We're trying to do specific, precise marketing, so it's less calls. Yeah, we, uh, we have a monthly subscription. So my, my main thing is, um, I don't use Weibo so much, but um, you, you, you mentioned about the number of businesses in China, but China, how many are on Weibo, and then how many you know they are, but how do you know who they are, and how many actually tell you they work for who? People don't say who they work for. Um, uh, and, and if, is there a particular niche on industries? Like if the tech, technology industry, majority of the decision makers who are more B2B, they are on Weibo, but you know, maybe the mining guys don't give a crap about Weibo. Then, then you might have customers trying to target the mining industry, but then they get fatigued because they pay you for a couple of months, they find a guy that they need, and that's it, they won't pay you again. So, just like, oh, okay. a, lot, a lot of questions. Uh, <laughs> so, as far, there's, it's hard to get all the numbers on Sino Weibo. There's a lot of negative publicity lately about the real numbers of Sino Weibo's user base. But as far as um, Weibo has their own enterprise, enterprise uh, version for businesses, um, honestly, but as far as businesses on Weibo, uh, I can't give you. Uh, I can't. I can't quote a number. But um, I believe. I think others here believe social media in China has always been more effective than English social media. Just like a QQ, every businessman in China has a QQ. I do business on QQ. I use QQ. I have like a gold, like crown. Um, so, and they all want face, and they all want to be verified. Um, 30, so they want, 30 seconds left. Okay, so the V connects to the company, and we can search the company by the V. And we can profile businesses, that's how we, uh, we identify them. And uh, it's so far been effective for the majority of our businesses that are users in finding the right people. And as far as staying on board, um, the stickiness we believe is in the, the, the data management and the multiple users and the build, the, maintaining the relationship over time. Once you build a relationship, Nice to know. Thank you, gentlemen.